Jake here with an, another video. It's been a little bit since I did one, but have a good game here in the T-78 featuring this tier 6 premium American tank destroyer on the Sand River map. Now, as it looks like I'm first starting out, going to a very typical spot, but one of the key aspects that actually made this game possible was that I do not remain here. Because if you watch the deployment of your team early on, and this is what I do pretty much every game for the first 30 seconds to a minute, I watch the deployment of the team. And if you look here, the team is spreading out both to the north and to the south, with way too many going north, except for the fact that none of them have any true staying power. And by staying power, you look for vehicles that have maybe high alpha, good armor, maybe they can work the terrain well. But we have two STRV-74s, which very good tier 6 medium with great gun depression. But it has no armor. And it needs, it has to rely on terrain, which there is very good terrain to the north. But they didn't go to the, the actual north-north. They went to the lower part. So I make a move here. I keep moving up. We have nobody in the middle. Our object 244, which is basically, roughly, for all intents and purposes, a uh, tier 6 heavy with no armor, not much to speak of really, and your typical 85mm gun. Basically think KV-85. Again, decently mobile, not a whole lot of armor, no gun depression of any kind really. So he's going to struggle up there. And we have a KV-1 still sitting at base. Now, our light tank in the south is pushing up too far. And while he's going to be he's going to be uh, shielded by sheer luck, he should be dead. And then he's only supported by a T67 and a Chroma B down there. And we have our typical tank destroyers who stayed at base, and I don't fault anybody for that. I would rather have teammates alive rather than dead. But the KV-1, of course, is not going to be useful in the position he's taking up. He'll get spotted there, whereas the Jackson won't. The Jackson was in roughly around about the same position I went to initially, which is a pretty safe, conservative position. So I keep move, moving myself up further and further. Because the T-78 is quick. It's also small. As you can see, I'm firing through this bush that's ahead of me about 20-30 meters. That's providing me with perfect concealment. And then I can back in and out to try to relocate the TOG. Which, I mean, of course, that thing is just a giant ship on land, so easy to find. That shot nicked the very tip-top of the sand dune. But I'm actually re-detecting him without getting re-spotted because... I have enough camouflage value and concealment that he won't detect me unless I fire. As you see, I got the assistance. Now things are going bad, as I expected. So this position here is the one that I was referring to earlier. This is a very, very good position for somebody who is small and stealthy enough to make it work. And of course, T-78 is those things. Basically being a chaffee with a, a Jackson turret for you know, lack of a better better uh, way of explaining it, because in reality, that's what it is. Chaffee hull, Jackson turret, and kind of the Jackson gun. It's a little bit different variant, but close enough. Now, this position here, I have enough concealment from this bush that I can fire at will. Plus, I also do run camouflage net on my T-78, even though a lot of people think that you shouldn't be running camouflage nets anymore, but there is definitely a time and place. In a stationary tank destroyer, trying to stay stealth up, camouflage net is one of the better pieces of equipment for that. And it does allow me to, to stay hidden until firing, quite often in this game. And that was a very unlucky combination of RNG there. My shot went high and to the left, and 
hit a weird angle on that T-3485. But now our south has lost, as expected. But this position here, up along the ridgeline, allows you to have a crossfire because there is a point right here, as the P-43 BIS is showing, where they have to go high in order to continue running eastward. And T-3045 is going to replicate it here in just a second, and up and over, and I get to track him. Now, he's obviously burned his repair kit, so between myself and my teammates, he goes down. Now, we've been playing from behind this whole time, and as expected, the North also lost. So, now, I'm still in a good position. And for those of you who don't know, you can fire all the way up to the, the very, very top of the North part of the map and take out tanks as they cross, as I just did with the T-37. And the Jackson up there has been providing very good support fire, as you'll see when we get to the results. He's not been inactive. And when I see people say something about camping to tank destroyers, they don't understand the game. He probably saved that north flank. Now, if you'd paid attention real quick there, a tree had went down, and I was noting it on the map for everybody. I just pinged it, but just bring their attention there. The T-67 had no chance of spotting me until I fired. And now I, I can go ahead and get him and finish off the SU-85, who still hadn't realized I was there. I do get a little bit lucky to avoid the big hit from the SU-100. So, get into the low ground, knowing that there are two enemy artillery in play. Go dark. And I showed that I was going to be coming back up and around, because you're spotted for 10 seconds afterwards, once being spotted. So I made it look like I was going back up the hill. Instead, I'm looping around to the low ground here. And now my goal is, of course, I'm hunting the SU-100. He is, by far, the most dangerous opponent left. But unluckily, I get spotted by the LEF. Now, at first, I'm still being very attentive towards the SU-100, but I see him on the map in front of me. And we have a rock between each other, so I pick to shoot the LEF first. Now, I zoom out and see the SU-100 is still facing away from me, so I have a chance at a free shot. And then the Semivente is paying attention to me. The SU-100 still isn't. And that was a horrible auto-aim shot, but the Semivente is my number two target. I gotta take out the SU-100. The Semivente, for those not knowing, it's blind. So if I go down here, it's not the worst thing in the world. My team can win without me. But the SU-100 has good view range, good armor, pretty mobile, and very, very good weaponry. So... That's why I focused him first, even though I was eating shots from the Semivente. But both of them now, I did get a little lucky there to beat his reload. But both of them gone. This is pretty much in hand. I just don't want to die at this point. With only 78 hit points left, which seems very ironic considering the, the vehicle's name that I'm driving. All we have left is the enemy LEF, who is currently spotted by our Jackson. And I get a chance to finally breathe easy and get some easy damage. Now we still have the VK-301H unaccounted for. Never spotted. Doesn't have a kill. So he could be anywhere. He could be right up here. I actually half suspected he was up here on this perch. Because he could have stayed behind the rocks and possibly have played the whole game there, not got a kill, and all of a sudden I just come strolling up here and bang. But instead, he's still wandering around the north. I don't really know what he was doing, but he's just going one-on-one -on -one with the Jackson. And I'm just hoping to break the 4,000 mark and get one unlucky bounce. But... I do get to finish him off, which pushed me just over 4,000 damage with no premium ammo used. And then we lose our SG-122, who was not even present for the game. 
But moving on to the results, it was an ace. Did it get a bruiser? Demolition expert? Fire for effect? The high caliber and the top gun. I do believe I uh, detonated the ammo rack of the T67. I think that's the one that got me that. Over 4,000 damage with 7 kills and base experience of 1,722. Whereas the Jackson was the second in, in line, he did actually provide some work. So did the LEF. And it was a pretty good game. Made quite a few credits because no premium ammo use. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.